Hello friends, uh, so in today's session I am going to explain you Linux basic troubleshooting and uh, I hope this troubleshooting will help for everyone because I am going to explain you from the very big basic okay and that also step by step how to check okay so let me start now so in today's session uh, i'm going to explain you two double like how two double shooting issue one is that user related and second one is that uh, uh, user is not able to create the file okay these two things i'm going to explain you in today's session and rest of the troubleshooting i will explain you step by step in the next session okay fine now so for example uh, you know in you have one server and that server uh, one xyz that user trying to access user trying to login but user getting some error you are not able to log in so user requested to you know like uh, can you check why i am not able to log in so then what a step you have to take uh, where you have to check how you will understand like what is the, why user is facing issue what is the issue okay so let me see here, you know, in this my screen, you can see here is one user name and that JP Mahare, something like that. And this user, I'm trying to, you know, switch with the different user. I'm Then I'm getting there some error here. So similarly, you will also get, like, you know, that, that user will also get something. So then you have to check what is the problem, okay? So before I'm going to explain you here, like how to check, let me tell you one thing. Uh, right as of now, I'm using this server Ubuntu. Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu server. So Ubuntu and uh, and Red Hat logs file name are different. Okay. So Red Hat, SUSE, and uh, CentOS logs file name is same, and uh, Ubuntu logs file name is different. So I will tell you like which log file you log file you have to check in Red Hat, Cent CentOS, and SUSE. And Ubuntu, I'm going to explain you now here. Okay, so first we will see here, and then I will tell you in the Red Hat and CentOS which file you have to check. Okay, log file you have to check. So that user is getting issue. Now what you have to do? You have to log into the server, and then you go to the where, and then log, where log. You can go to this directory. Okay, so this path, and here one log, uh, here one log file is there. Okay. So that log file name is auth dot log. So this is a log, you know, user related logs will be stored here. Auth dot log. Inside you have to check that you know that user or, or you know what that user is getting a issue. What is why that user is not able to log in. So for my case, let me cat this file. Let pipe grip hyphen i hyphen i i why i'm giving it so i'm catting a file then i'm gripping the data you know inside this file but i'm giving the in flag hyphen i so why i'm giving a high so like i will tell you uh, you know in i you know when you, we are using it means you know suppose if in this log file what content you searching maybe it will be uh, you know uppercase and you searching with the hair lowercase it will be not fine so that that's why i'm giving this case sensitive so that's why i'm giving i here doesn't matter like you know if you're giving a small and caps doesn't matter it will be search if you're giving the using the hyphen i okay and then i'm giving the username here let me cat this one so when i'm catting you can see here it's a it's telling failed for this by test no password entry for this user so that's why I'm not able to switch when I'm switching the user. So it's no password entry. So that's why I'm not able to switch this user. So same like that, you will also get, okay? Maybe like, you know, access deny, like uh, password related issue, like that user is locked, that user uh, account is expired, like uh, password uh, password is expired. So those things, those information, it will be stored inside this log file, auth.log. Okay. So this is the Ubuntu machine. So in Ubuntu machine, you have to check auth.log. But if you're using Red Hat, CentOS, and uh, SUSE, then same same path. You have to go to the same path where log. And here you have to check the that log file name is secure.log. Okay. 
secure dot log so in that inside that file you have to check that uh, what is the problem why that user is not able to log in so okay so i hope you understand so first step so that's why i'm telling this is a basic so first step you have to you know check the log file and then log file you have to identify what is the reason okay so this is a user now second so uh, let me explain you about the so for example let me type here dff and h okay and uh, for example i'm taking root now okay sorry okay so i'm inside the root okay so similar like similar uh, like that in your you have dif different uh, types of file system like you know you op opt var home home temp logs so as per your requirement you created for example in your case you have a home uh, home file system slash home and you are you are keeping the all the logs file information you inside your home file like you keeping the all the data what about the data important data you are keeping inside your home file okay in a certain time you know like uh, some uh, one day you you know that the user that who, who keeping that uh, logs file like that user that user is not able to create the new file okay so like when the user trying to create the log file inside the home directory but that user is not creating U user is uh, getting insufficient uh, issue like that error so the user is not able to create then user is requesting hey can you check why i am not able to create this is the error i am getting so when you check so like you know you when you checking that file system slash home so you are checking that you think okay maybe it it space is not available that's why that user is not able to create the file system so you you going to check so in my case let me see here the iphone iphone s slash okay so similar like that you will check in your system like dff and h and then you giving the file system okay but what you observing you are observing file system like you know utilization is too less and space is available then why user is not able to create so in that case what you have to do you have to check the i node value if i node value is a full then definitely that user will not create the file because when user anyone like when you anyone creating any file on the server like system os that when you creating that file creating with a one unique id okay that if unique that unique id is full it will not give a new assign the new id right then that user will not able to create that's why user is not able to create so how you will check that one so what you have to do you have to run d f n h and i and you you have to give the your file system name so in my case i'm for example i want to showing you so i'm giving the root in your case you have to give slash home anything or where, where you uh, getting this error so that file system name you have to give here okay and then hit enter so when i hitting enter you can see here it's a showing i node so it this is the i total i node and this is a huge so you will maybe you will like you know you will get here it will be full so that's why that user is not able to create the file even a space is available also that one okay this this is one one thing there are lots of there are, there are lots of uh, reason like user is not able to create but this is the like you know this two uh, three things is most important like a space is not available i node value is full either and second even uh, third uh, sorry third one is that file system uh, sorry file system is a read only mode read only mode if file system is also read only mode then also you will not able to create any thing any new file okay so this three reason is the basic you have to check okay so how so first you have to check the space so if a space you can run the dff and h and then you can see so a space is showing here okay in i node you can run df hyphen h i command and then you can see i node and uh, if file is a, it's, it is a read only memory a read only mode or what so you, what you have to do you have to use the touch command and then you have to create one text file test file and you know you have to check you are able to create or not okay so i hope uh, you like this video so please subscribe my channel if uh, videos are helpful and uh, please share like and comment thank you